hi everyone uh, today i have a new video for uh, you and this video is uh, regarding the trim problems uh, of type a uh, this is from the ship stability 2 series uh, this is question number 20 from exercise 22 now i have been asked to speak uh, louder so i will try to speak louder and i hope you find the audio of this video as um, you need so let's get started with the question without wasting much time so like i said uh, if you need a reference to this question and um, this is from trim problems type a the book is ship stability 2 by captain subramaniam uh, it's exercise number 22 and this is question number 20 i will take up more questions of this type and put it uh, on the channel for the exclusive members only so the question is that uh, a ship leaves port drawing 9 meters forward and 9.8 meters aft. So that would mean that these are the drafts of the vessel forward and aft. Right. Then the length between perpendicular or LBP is 170 meters. The MCTC or moment to change trim by 1 centimeter is 160 ton meter and then uh, we have the tpc as uh, 24 uh, and uh, tpc of course it's tons per centimeter immersion if you don't know what it is and we have hf one meter forward so for you who don't know what is hf hf is the horizontal distance of the or rather the longitudinal distance of the center of flotation from the midship i'll show you in a drawing below what hf looks like so hf h denotes the midship of the ship so the half distance of the ship and f is the longitudinal distance from the midship of the center of flotation so f stands for center of flotation so while the ship is on passage she consumes the following so she consumes 520 tons of hfo from number 2 db tank uh, hg is 50 meters forward so when i say hg is 50 meters forward that i mean that uh, h is the midship and g is the center of gravity so the longitudinal distance between the midship and the center of gravity is 50 meters then we have 200 tons of hfo that is heavy fuel oil from number eight double bottom tank and again the hg is 60 meters aft i'll show you what that means i'm just reading out the question right now but i'll show you what i mean or what the question rather means i'll show you in the drawing and then number three uh, from number three double bottom tank we have consumed 300 tons of fresh water uh, from number three double tank and uh, the hg is 30 meters forward so again like i said uh, h stands for midship and g stands for center of gravity so in the question you have to find how much of fresh water must you transfer between the peak tanks which are 150 meter apart so you don't have to add any cargo you don't have to delete or rather not delete but discharge any cargo and you have to transfer uh, some fresh water uh, from uh, one tank to the other which is 150 meters apart and you have to bring the trim to 0 0.3 meters by the stern and then also you have to state the final drafts forward and aft all right so i always say one thing to my students is that when you are solving any questions of ship stability first you draw the diagram explain to yourself answer to yourself have you understood what is given to you and what is required of you unless and until you can do that do not start solving the question so you should be able to explain to yourself and to any layman so let's draw the diagram so here we have the diagram this is the ship right and this ship uh, you can see this is the forward part of the ship this is the aft part of the ship so i have drawn the ship from the starboard aspect so the total length or length between perpendicular rather i should say uh, lbp lbp is given to you as 170 meters right so this exactly half uh, midship is denoted by the letter h so this is 85 meters and this is 85 meters again all right so this half of the distance so what is this 85 85 is half of 170 so it's midship so that distance from aft perpendicular to midship is 85 and so is the uh, forward perp perpendicular to the midship is 85 meters again all right so 85 plus 85 is 170 which is the uh, total uh, length between perpendicular then you have uh, a position of center of flotation drawn here by the letter f 
so again why have i drawn it here because it says this hf is one meter forward so hf is one meter forward means it's forward of h so you can see i have drawn the center of rotation one meter forward of h which is the midship point all right so that's how you get your center of flotation from the question all right then i'll come back to this drawing again but let's get continued with the question so the initial drafts forward and after given to you as 9 meter and 9.8 meter uh, this is the forward draft of course and this is the aft draft so the trim which will be uh, the bigger number minus the smaller number so aft draft minus the smaller uh, the forward draft is 9.8 meters minus 9 meters which is equal to 0 0.8 meters and draft and trim is by stern why is the trim by stern because the aft draft is more than the forward draft all right so your current trim is 0 0.8 meter by stern but your trim required as per the question the trim required is 0 0.3 meters by the stern so your vessel initially is 9 and 9.8 that means your vessel is trimmed by stern by uh, 0 0.8 meters here by stern right this is your current scenario but what you need is to uh, lift this stern and bring the ship little bit down by the head to so reduce the stern trim from 0 0.8 to 0 0.3 so although your trim will still be by stern but it will reduce uh, by 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3 so what will it reduce so you need to so the trim change required is current is 0 0.8 meters and required is 0 0.3 so you need to trim the ship by head by 0 0.5 meters right so you have to bring the stern up and bring down the head of the vessel so that the stern trim reduces and it is 0 0.3 by stern not 0 0.8 right so i hope you got it that's the trim change required that's why you need to transfer water from one tank peak tank so this is peak tank and this is peak tank as well so i'll just call it pk tank and you have to transfer the water from aft to forward because when you transfer from aft to forward more weight will be added forward so your ship's head will go down and stern will come up right as you discharge water from here and as you add water here the forward part will become heavier and the aft part will become lighter so the aft stern will come up and the head will go down so automatically your stern trim will reduce so how much is the amount that is what you have to find out so how do we do that so we've got this weights here which we have consumed and then we have to find out the weight which you need to transfer so weight and distance from center of flotation so let's find out what is the weight so the weight is 520 this 520 is from the question 520 tons of hfo was consumed from number two double bottom tank your hg was 50 meters forward hg was 50 meters forward that would mean is your g is somewhere here so let me use a different color pen otherwise you guys will get confused so hg was 50 meters forward that would mean if this is 50 meters forward here that means that from g to center of flotation is going back 49 meters right so this is for the hfo uh, from number two double bottom tank right number two double bottom tank so that's why you can see the distance from the center of flotation i have written as 49 meters and i'm showing the arrow going back all right if you didn't understand let me show you another example then we have consumed 200 tons so we have consumed how much 200 tons of hfo from number eight double bottom tank the hg is 60 meters aft this time so where is it number uh, eight double bottom tank so hg 60 meters aft means g is somewhere here hg is 60 meters aft if this is 60 meters aft so how far is the center of gravity from the center of flotation 60 plus 1 61 meters and going forward that's why you can see here i have drawn 61 meters and it's going forward that's distance from center of rotation all right similarly now let's take the third example 300 tons of fresh water from number three double bottom tank was consumed hg was 30 meters forward all right so 30 meters forward so let i have to erase one of them so that it doesn't become too cluttered for you guys to see so hg was 30 meters forward let me just get rid of all this so you i am sure you've got an idea by now already so hg was 30 meters forward well let's say it was here this is 30 meters forward that means from center of rotation you are 29 meters 
but going aft going aft right so that's why you can see i have drawn here the third width 300 tons and 29 meters going aft and finally you know that you have to transfer an unknown amount of fresh water from the aft peak tank to the forward peak tank and naturally the distance is 150 meters between the tank and since it will go from aft to forward i have drawn the arrow going forward all right so what do you do you multiply each weight by the distance from the standard of flotation and if one has to go towards stern so in the first case of course the trimming moment will be by stern because uh, water was consumed from number two db tank so you can see in the first case uh, you are consuming from number two double bottom tank which is towards the forward part of the vessel so if you consume from forward part of the vessel what will happen is that uh, the forward part will become lighter so the trimming moment will be by stern right so the forward part if you consume it's like discharging from forward part oil is being discharged something like that when consumption can be taken as discharge so the ship will become lighter forward part and it will come up if it comes up the trimming moment will be by stern all right so that's why you will multiply each and you will put this under the trimming moment by stern all right similarly uh, the second case because you're consuming from an aft tank trimming moment will be by head you multiply 200 by 61 you get 12200 in the third case again trimming moment is by stern you multiply 300 by 29 so you put your trimming moments by stern in one column and trimming moments by head un under another column and again because you are transferring water from aft peak tank to forward peak tank you, in the last case where you don't know the weight the trimming moment will be by head because we want to reduce the stern trim and by bringing the ship's head down so we'll do that again right so 300 uh, unknown weight by 150 is 150 then you add the trimming moments by head in one column and add the trimming moments by stern under one column all right uh, so i'll just get rid of these things becoming too much of a clutter right so this will give you 12200 plus 150 and this will give you 25480 plus 8700 is 34180. So this is the uh, net trimming moment. You got the head trimming moment and you got the stern trimming moment. Uh, but before that, you also have to know that the formula for trimming moment is also equal to trim change required multiplied by MCTC. This is given in the stability books. Now the trim change moment, the trim moment or trim change required was 0 0.50 meters, right? But when we talk about MCTC, it's moment to change trim by one centimeter. So we have to convert this 0 0.5 meters, which was a trim change required, to centimeters by multiplying it by 100. So this will give you 50 centimeters. So did you get where I got the trim change from? So remember here, I told you that the current trim is 0 0.8 and you have to make it 0 0.3 by stern. So the trim change required is 0 0.5 meters. So 0 0.5 meters you can't use because the unit is in meters, whereas MCTC is for centimeters. That's why I converted the trim change into centimeters. So trimming moment is 50 centimeters by 160, which is 8,000. All right. So trimming moment is also equal to 8,000, but trimming moment is also equal to the net result of the head and stern trimming moment. So that's why you will have this equation here. So we have the head trimming moment minus the stern trimming moment, of course right equals to trimming moment so then it's a simple case of isolating the numbers that you know and uh, isolating what you don't know so just keep solving the equation here and you are isolating w which you don't know and finding out what is the weight of the w so by isolating w we find out that you have to transfer basically 199.9 tons or almost 200 tons of fresh water from the aft peak tank to the forward peak tank which is located 150 meters away all right uh, then we have to find the final drafts as well the question is not over yet so for that we have to find uh, how much was the uh, effect of uh, the consumption of the fuel oil or fresh water during the passage so total weight loss due to consumption or total loss uh, in the uh, yes you can say weight is 520 tons plus 200 tons plus 320 tons which is 1020 tons okay so you know where i got these figures from so from the question itself so we have consumed the question says we have consumed 520 tons plus 200 tons plus 320 tons uh, the fourth thing the fresh water was not consumed it was only transferred so we don't have to worry about that so there is no change in weight but these are the stores we have consumed 
so when we have consumed something it means there has been some kind of a discharge there has been a loss of weight by how much by 1020 tons so how so when there is a loss of weight of course it's like a discharge so ship becomes lighter it means ship will rise if you add weights ship sinks so when you subtract weights or discharge weights or consume weights ship is becoming lighter so there will be bodily rise now how do i find bodily rise total weight consumed divided by tpc all right this is tpc total weight consumed divided by tpc gives you a bodily rise of 0.425 meters or it can be 42.5 centimeters now why we say 0.425 meters because we have to apply this to the drafts and the drafts are given in meters so it's better to keep it in meters all right now because you will divide 1020 by 24 and you will get 42.5 that's why i thought don't get confused if i write 0 0.425 this is in meters the answer you will get in your calculator is 42.5 but that would be centimeters because tpc again it's tons per centimeter immersion that's for centimeters only so what you do is you found out the bodily rise now so you write down the initial drafts given to you in the question 9 and 9.8 find out the bodily rise so when you say bodily rise that means both forward and aft portion of the vessel will rise due to the consumption of store both will rise by the same amount so minus 0.425 minus 0.425 on either side this is forward draft this is aft draft now remember that if it was adding stores you would be adding this uh, and it would be bodily sinkage so once you subtract both numbers then you have to find trim forward and trim aft how do you find this from here so the formula is trim change aft equals distance from the aft perpendicular to center of flotation multiplied by change in trim required divided by lbp so lbp is given to you you know 170 trim change required you know it's 0.5 meters how do i find the af af is distance of aft perpendicular from center of flotation right so of course if this is 85 meters from aft perpendicular to midship is 85 your center of flotation is one meter forward of hf rather forward of h so you will add one meter to 85 meters so from half perpendicular to center of rotation becomes 86 meters right this is af af so therefore you will write af here as 86 meters multiplied by 0 0.5 meters keep everything in meters here don't keep something in centimeters divided by length between perpendicular which is also in meters so you get range in trim aft as 0 0.253 change in trim forward will be total change in trim required which is 0 0.5 meters minus trim aft so this is tc minus ta which will give you tf this is change in trim required forward is 0 0.247 so of course because you transferred water from aft to forward and the net trimming moment was also favoring down by head so you will add the forward trim forward you will add because you are increasing the um, forward draft and you are decreasing the stern draft because you are reducing the stern trim right so therefore you will sorry about that so you will add tf you will add because you want to put the ship down by head and you will subtract ta because you want to make the stern rise to reduce the stern trim so once you do that you get the forward and aft drafts all right so have a look through this video watch it again uh, if you have any questions these questions are actually very simple guys it's very easy it's just you managing to understand what's going on so like i said always with ship stability questions draw the diagrams draw the diagrams i can't reinforce enough how important it is for you to draw diagrams and understand what is going on once you draw the diagrams and you can visualize what is going on the rest of the question is very simple guys all right so you should be able to explain to yourself what is it that is given to me and what is it that i have to find what has to go on on this ship for me to achieve the desired results and you should be able to explain it to anybody all right that's the kind of clarity you need and then you will see any ship stability question will become very easy so thanks for watching guys thank you for being exclusive members i really appreciate the support you are giving me uh, it encourages me to put more videos uh, please pass these uh, the information of the channel to your friends as well so that they can benefit but thank you for being exclusive members bye for now